Okay, you guys, uh, back real quick, like I said. Um, so this is where we left off. I'm going to continue on decorating. Now I'm going to speed the video up a little bit. Um, talk here and there if I feel I need to jump in. So then just kind of watch me or just kind of craft with me. Watch cra watch me craft. Uh, yeah, I think it should be uh, watch me craft. But anywho, I'm going to... Um, recede to the background and kind of let you guys watch me play. Some of the pages are going to be a little busy. So to tone that down, I'm going to use um, uh, neutral pages, fairly neutral, um, and that will help everything kind of run together a little bit smoothly. It's okay to have contrast. Um, that's good, but that's not what I'm going for here. I just want a little subtle contrast. And so I'll pair busy with not so busy to pretty much not busy at all. And that is the way that I like to craft. That's just, um, my preference to each his own. I really didn't want to have long drawn out wide open spaces like Texas, <laughs> some parts of Texas anyway. I didn't want to have anything long and drawn out. Um, so you guys tell me what you think. To play music or not to play music, which one will it be? How about if you guys want to hear some music right now, you guys put music on <laughs> because even if we like music, we like different types of music. Um, and so I'm just filling the place here, you guys. I'm simply cutting paper. Um, I'm playing around. I'm having fun. I love this little um, loaded envelope booklet. I have to keep saying that this LEB, this Leb loaded envelope booklet. Yes, I'm getting a little cuckoo. Uh, but anyway, um, so you'll just have to watch me craft.
So I'm just cutting this uh, paper so that I can create a little tag to stick down in here. And all I do is um, use one of the offshoots and it's really pretty, really nice to make a, um, a very nice tag that's very simple to go into my little pocket here. And just to spruce things up a little bit, I'm going to take some of the word uh, pieces and just add them in there. Something so simple can really change your page um, layout extremely. One says fashion plate number 23 probably. One says uh, figure and one says journal and they all tie in with this theme perfectly. I'm just admiring my work. I'm really loving the way that everything's turned out. This closure piece is bringing everything together. So um, I did the back piece with these three uh, button pieces to tie the back end with the belly band, the semi belly band, that's the closure. Um, and now I'm just gonna finish everything off. And I was just showing you guys that I used that particular tag punch to create um, this closure piece. So you now have your pieces. So I can loop this around. You can loop it any way you want. Loop it like so. Okay, or you can loop it in the figure eight. Okay, just depends on. Now I would take this string and I would add like a charm or something on the bottom of it. These cameo pieces will work fine and it probably is what I'm going to hit, going to go ahead and use um, these cameo pieces here. That would be really nice. I also have an idea about um, using the little Tim Holtz little word pieces. So I'm just going to pull out a few here and a few ends up being probably most of them because um, I was trying to get what I wanted. So noted, of course, is going to come out and then life. And so um, it's going to read life noted, which I thought was perfect. So I'm just going to um, pull out one of the ornate pieces and use that together with one of the little word pieces from the kit. And I'm trying to arrange it um, in such a fashion that I think looks nice. At first I did like it up at the top, but when I turned it to the side here, it was perfect. It looks more like a piece of mail that you would receive. And so that's what we're gonna go with. Now we just need to adhere everything down and move to the next part. So I'm getting ready to close everything um, together here. And I was looking at some of the stuff. I'm looking for some brads, 
but I see these little hitch posts and they would also work fine to use when you're trying to connect your string as well for a closure piece. And then I pulled out the little label. It has a screw on it. Um, I'm not going to screw these down because I only use those screws when I'm creating like a hardback cover um, where the board is thick because um, even then sometimes the screws go through there and I have a little hand tool, but it's, you know, dealing with machines like that and the sparks flying and everything, you guys, I'm not really too keen on that. So anyway, I'm pulling this together. We're just going to use some brads and they're going to work fine. Now you can cover those, the back of the brads up with words or just whatever. So as I begin to wrap everything up, I start playing around with this removable fold out piece, wrapping the string different kind of ways. And I really enjoyed um, that element, that aspect of it, the interactiveness of it. So I'll definitely be doing some more of that in the future. Um, you guys, till then, have a wonderful morning, evening or night, wherever you are.